back to my YouTube channel. Now, this video, I'm going to show you how to insert an equation in pages. Now, previously, I found a solution to get an equation into a pages because previously, such a function is not available. Now, if you head over to insert, you will see that the equation is not being grayed out. This is the latest update that they provide a free function for pages. If you have pages version 6.2 and above, then most probably you will be able to insert equation because previously you need to buy in order to activate that uh, function, but now it's free. So all you need to do now is go to insert pay, equation. All you need to do now is to insert your equation. Say I have a quadratic equation. Say I have um, x squared. To get a squared, it will be shift 6, which is a cap squared. Whether you want to have a space in between them, the system will not recognize it. Okay, This is how you I type it in. This is how it looks like. Whether I have a space in between them, I'm going to show you, it will not give any effect at all. Okay, but for my own view, I think this is good enough. I can create a space here. Press enter, this is what you look like. If I just press insert, then it will come out, it will appear here. You may change its, the whole color, I mean the, the font color, just like any other word function format. Okay, you may change it to, or you may bold it, or oh, it doesn't give any effect. You may increase the font size, center it, align. Then you may resume with your you, your word yeah, quadratic equation. Okay, but what happens if you have more than one line? Okay, so I'm going to do it again. Insert equation. Okay, so what I'll do. Um, how about solving that quadratic equation? Okay, say so I say, oh, I want open bracket, close bracket equals zero. This is a somewhat a common practice. You should have open and close bracket, then you fill in the blank, right? So we x that would be x minus five, x plus three. Then what happened is I want to solve that equation. Say for example, I do not want to be like this. I want to be, I will rewrite what I had earlier to x minus 15 to 0. No matter how many enter I place, it will be in one line. You see, it will be in one line. It will not add into the next line, just like what I want it to appear like this. So what you need to do is you want to align it align begin backslash and align I think it's the other way around. Begin align. Begin align. That will happen by the end of each line. I have double slash. Then the equation will align at the equal sign. See? Begin align and align. Now there are times that I you need to have a space in between them. How can you do that? Say for example, this equation would be x minus five equals zero or x plus three equals zero. 
it would be in one line. So what can I do? Double slash. But what happened? The zero or x is in one line. They end up in space. Okay. So to do that. A special function QUAD acquired, it will follow according to. I know I, inc I have a space here because I want to differentiate the word in my function. So, update this is what happened. It will still align with equal sign unless you want to separate this line with that line. Now, if you want to know more. There are others equations. Say for example, you go to lower left hand corner. They will have a template. A new window will pops out. They will show you a list of equations. Let's say you want to have a square root is sqrt over is slash over to a or a fraction. Say if you want to have a fraction, make sure you have two current bracket, the first one is the nominator, the second one is the denominator. 8 is on top, B is downstairs. Insert, yeah, press and enter, yeah, the space. Or you may use what is suggest slash over within the current bracket. Or if you want to know more, you go to latex, about latex. Make sure you have internet con uh, internet access. You get a list of equation available. There are some sample equation down there here as well. A C dot means a dot. A dy symbol. Okay, greater equal less than. I'm sure one of them will help you out, and this is the latest version of how to insert an equation in pages for free. You do not need to pay anything, and you get the equation in. Subscribe to my channel if it's first time watching my video. I appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you for watching my video.